Do you ever wonder how some people just seem to be happy all the time and think to yourself, hmm, what's their secret? Would you like to be happier right now? So then keep watching, because in this video I'm going to share with you an activity that's guaranteed to make you feel happier right now. Hello and welcome to Living Your Best Life 101 with simple tips for better health, wealth and happiness. My name's Stuart and if you'd like more videos like this then why not subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to get notifications every time I post a new video. So the age-old conundrum of how to be happy. Just what is the secret to living a happy life? Personally I feel like I've been studying this subject for about the last 30 years. I've read loads of books on the subject. I've meditated and practiced mindfulness. I even traveled the world in search of it. And whilst doing my research for this video, I watched a lot of other videos here on YouTube. And I'll be honest, they all had some really great advice. But how often do we hear great advice and then never put it into practice. Or else we receive too much information and we never catch any of it. For that reason, I'm not gonna tell you the five essential things you should do to be happy or the 10 best habits of happy people. Because if I do, I know what'll happen. They'll probably just go in here and straight out of there. And the fact is that being happy, well, it's a highly complex and deeply personal thing. The chances are you're gonna to have to do more than one thing to really make yourself happy. <laughs> you might have to do lots of things, but those things can wait for other videos. Right now though, I'm gonna tell you an activity that you can do as you're watching this video. And if you do it and then repeat it every day, I guarantee that you'll feel more content and well on your way to being a happy little chicken. I've made this a part of my daily routine for some years now, and I can honestly and wholeheartedly recommend it. It really has made a massive difference in my life. And it's as simple as saying two little words, two words which are sadly so often forgotten, definitely underused, Two words are thank and you, put together, thank you. Now, it doesn't really matter who you're thanking. It might be God or Jesus Christ, Buddha, Allah, Jehovah. It might not even be a, a religious figure. It could be your parents. It could be your friends. It could be your children. You could be even thanking yourself. But what is important, whoever you're saying thank you to, is the feeling that's attached to it. And that's a genuine feeling of gratitude. So what I'd like you to do is to pause this video right now and go and grab yourself a pen and paper, okay? Now, I recommend you do this now because if you don't, if you think, oh, I'll do it at the end of the video, chances are you probably won't, okay? So press pause now Go and grab that piece of paper and a pen. Okay, I want you to write the title, My Gratitude List, at the top of the paper, and underneath that, divide your page up by writing another five subheadings, just like you can see now on the screen. So the first one is me, then other people, then circumstances, followed by possessions, and finally, other. Okay, and when you've done that, Underneath the subheading me, I want you to start a sentence and write the words, I am thankful for. And then continue the sentence, listing all of the things that you like about yourself and that you're thankful for. Whether they're physical things, like your great hair, your dashing good looks, or maybe your tight glutes and your lovely long legs. Think also about your character traits. Maybe it's your honesty, your kindness, 
or your great sense of humour. Okay, so now pause the video, get busy and take as long as you need on this. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that and brought a smile to your face and made you feel good. If you struggled to think of things that you like about yourself, that you're thankful for, ask a friend. Ask them to tell you the things that they like about you. Okay, now let's move down the page and go to the heading which says other people. Again, start the sentence underneath with I am thankful for and then continue writing listing everybody that you appreciate or feel thankful to have in your life for whatever reason whether they're friends and loved ones or whether they're the kind boy or girl that works in the supermarket or grocery store pause the video and i'll see you again in a minute or two okay welcome back and we move down to the next subheading which is circumstances now by this, I mean anything that's happened to you in your life that you feel grateful for or thankful for. Now, usually these are past events or it might be something which has just happened recently. It could even be something that you are hoping to attract into your life that might be a future circumstance. So whether it's past, present or future, some examples might be meeting a spouse, becoming a parent, getting a job or even having a job. You might even just be thankful to be alive and healthy. Again, start the sentence with, I am thankful for, or I am grateful for, and get right in. Pause the video now, and I'll be right back. All right, on to possessions now. I want you to write down all of the material things that you really feel thankful to have in your life. They might even be the simple things that we all take for granted, like a roof over your head, food in your cupboard, clean water when you turn on the taps. Start the sentence underneath the heading with, I am thankful for, and get busy writing, pause the video, and I'll see you in a moment. All right, now we come to the final category which we've named other. Now you may or may not need this one, but if there was something that you're not sure about and you weren't sure which category to put it in, then you can put it in this one. Again, start with, I am thankful for, and write the things that you're thankful for in this category. Pause the video and I'll see you again shortly. Okay, so there you have it. A list of things that you are thankful for. And I'm sure lots of reasons to be cheerful. Now hopefully just writing that list has made you feel happier about your life in general. But to be honest, that's just the beginning. Because what I'd like you to do to maximize the effect is every day, preferably in the morning, before the chaos of the day begins, just spend however long it takes, probably no more than five minutes, to read that list to yourself. You can read it in a loud voice or just read it to yourself quietly. But as you do read it, smile and pay attention to how you're feeling when you read about all of those blessings that you've got in your life and how lucky you are to have all of these things, all of these great things in your life that make you feel happy. Practicing gratitude like this is a great way to start your day. And the happiness that you feel will in turn attract more good things to you throughout the rest of the day. Try getting into the habit of saying a quiet thank you to yourself every time you feel appreciation for something. For example, say thank you to yourself when you arrive at work safely after the morning commute. Say thank you for the coffee break that you have or your great colleagues that you work with. Be thankful for the sandwich lovingly prepared for your lunch by your other half, even if it is cheese, again. And when something happens that you don't like, try to see the positive in it, no matter how well disguised it is. 
Say thank you when you get home again and you're able to share a meal with your family. And before going to bed, try to read your list again and add in some gratitude for all of the great things that happened to you during the day. Finally, be thankful for the restful night's sleep that you're going to have and for the great day that you're going to have tomorrow. If you can do this simple little thing every day, then I promise you that you're going to feel happier with your life. And if you can get into the habit of using these two magical little words, then I'm sure they're going to have a profound effect on your life. So now it's my turn to say thank you for your attention and participation. If you've enjoyed this video, then hit the like button and share it with somebody who you think would get value out of it. Leave me a comment below. I'd love to hear about the things that you're thankful for in your life. And if you'd like more videos with tips for better health, wealth and happiness, then why not subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to receive notifications of new videos. But for now, once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Welcome to... Jesus! <laughs> this is cack. This could be a long video. Mm. Now, right now... <sighs> rubbish and then <laughs> whether they're physical things like <laughs> the things that <laughs> all right so on to possessions now